Sea Wrecker Guided Missile for the Israeli Navy Rafael Advanced Defense Systems of Israel revealed its Sea Breaker missile on June 30, describing it as a fifth-generation long-range autonomous precision-guided missile system capable of devastating a variety of high-volume maritime and land targets. Seabreaker was created to address an operational gap in maritime domination and deep land strike systems, Rafael's website states. Rafael produced a video displaying the missile's agility during a simulated launch from a ship and a vehicle. The video demonstrates how the missile can fly at low altitudes, following the terrain or skimming the water surface evading enemy detection systems and delivering maximum force and precision to high-value targets. The Features of Missile The missile has numerous technological advancements including electro-optics, computer vision, artificial intelligence, and decision-making. Seabreaker addresses the complex challenges of modern warfare by delivering targeted strikes against high-volume maritime and land targets from standoff ranges of up to 165 nautical miles using a 113 kg penetration, blast, and fragmentation payload. As a result, Seabreaker is particularly effective in complicated anti-area access denial arena conflicts, especially in the face of hyper electronic warfare and GNSS denial. In contrast, prior generations of RF seeker-based missiles are ineffective. Seabreaker features an advanced imaging infrared seeker ideal for stationary or moving targets in all weather conditions. Seabreaker can engage ships both in coastal and blue waters and also in archipelago environments. It can be launched from various naval platforms from fast attack boats to corvettes and frigates. It enables selective hits, controlled damage and reduced collateral damage. Rafael said Seabreaker performs deep learning and big database send matching, a feature available on the Spice 2000 that was used during the Balochat strike. The Spice 2000 uses a digital send matching area correlator technology which automatically matches the target as it zooms in with the image that has been preferred besides the GPS coordinates. The Seabreaker uses artificial intelligence to perform deep learning and big database send matching, enabling automatic target acquisition and recognition. It also has a data link support system that allows the operator to make decisions and tactical real-time man-in-the-loop decision making and tactical updates mid flight abort capability and battle damage assessment. The system is capable of entire operations in GNSS denied arenas as well as in all weather conditions. It is also immune to electronic countermeasures, gem resilient and can fly close to the water or terrain. Flying at high subsonic speeds, Seabreaker has a multi-directional synchronized full S-Fair attack capability based on predefined attack plans according to waypoints, azimuth, impact angle and endpoint selection, ensuring a high probability of mission success with the 250 libraries, penetration, blast, fragmentation, warhead making a single hit effective enough to neutralize a frigate-sized ship. Why is Seabreaker missile dangerous? It flies very low both in the sea and on land. In such a situation, enemy radars present on the sea or land cannot recognize the sound of this missile when the missile reaches very close to the enemies, which does not even give them time to react. In such a situation, it becomes almost impossible for the enemy to escape from this missile. Tactical Advantage 
RF guided missiles have a poor track record of hitting targets close to land. Additionally, identifying a high value target from other targets is a critical skill in today's operational environment. The Seabreaker guided missiles, deep learning, and computer vision algorithms, as well as the imaging infrared search coil, enable it to hit targets close to land while also distinguishing the high value target from other targets. Furthermore, the Seabreaker state of the art electro optical seekers, along with exclusive send matching algorithms, navigation guidance, and homing procedures enable it to carry out operational missions with a GPS and with a minimum of collateral damage. Conclusion The Israeli Navy has added a Seabreaker guided missile to its K capabilities with SAR-6 corvettes. The ability to engage both land and sea targets simultaneously will increase the role and weight of the Israeli Navy in Israeli military strategy. In particular, thanks to the Seabreaker's target selection capability, hitting only military targets and preventing civilian casualties will also reduce the reactions to Israel's military operations. SAR-6 corvettes equipped with Seabreaker guided missiles will increase Israel's power and deterrence in the Eastern Mediterranean.